What's good, YouTube? It's your boy CJ, aka No Limit CJ. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, look, slashing small guards are back on NBA 2K24. Y'all remember back in like 2K20 when slashing point guards, like two way slashers and stuff like that, were going crazy? Yeah, this John Marine build I'm gonna show you guys right now is gonna take over NBA 2K24. I already got some clips. I can't wait to show you guys these dunks I'm getting. I think we're around that season where the builds are getting stagnant. Everybody's making the new meta builds, but I had to switch it up. You know, your boy had CJ had to come back for this. No Limit game, y'all seem to love when I make these slasher type of builds, bro. So if you guys want me to use them, let me know in the comment section below. Can't wait to show you guys how this build's rocking. Before we get started, bro, let's try to get 25 bucks on this video, bro. I know we just coming back. I know we haven't posted in a minute, bro. We're so close to 30K, bro. We're like 120 subs away. But I really would appreciate if you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, like this video up to help other people find this video as well. All right, y'all, let's come out here to the builder, man. I'm going to show you guys how to make this exact build. Um, I already have, uh, sheesh, I already have so many builds created. I didn't even show you guys. But let's get started with my man's John Moran. We'll put on, you know, jersey number 12. You want to go point guard. You want to go the height of 6'2". 6'2". Jaws actually official height. I thought he was taller. Than he plays taller. Him and Anthony Edwards really play taller than their heights, bro. It's insane. Um, 6'2". For the weight, you want to go with 106 or 170, my fault. And if you want, you can go with a 6'7 wingspan. But personally, I went with a 6'9 because I just like to get better shot contests. It makes you, your hair arms longer. Why not? You're still able to get all the stats that we're going to be able to get in this build. In the meantime, let me show you guys a run through. I made this build. So there's a couple versions you can go with. You can change it up however you want. But this, I think this is the most all around as far as getting the, the animation that you need and being able to just do everything right you want to make sure you can do everything on the build for me i don't like to be any type of liability so i'm sure you guys how i did it so first things first we're gonna upgrade the close shot to a 55 for 55 close shot you know what i'm saying just gives us a simple badges we're not worried about badges here but this is what you need this is the lowest you can go as far as the stats go actually i think you go 54 for the close shot driving layup we're gonna upgrade this to a 77 now i honestly wanted to go with an 80 because 80 gives us um you know what i'm saying hall of fame pro touch but at the same time bro 77 gets you the westbrook layup animation if I'm not mistaken, that's the fastest layup in the game. So making these, first of all, layups are broken. You know what I'm saying? You can dang near jump farther than dunks with these layups this year. So if you can get Westbrook's layup, which is the fastest one in the game, you're straight. You know what I'm saying? You get a 77 layup rating. Driving dunk is what we're here for, right? So let's be realistic. <laughs> for the driving dunk, we here for that driving dunk. We're going with a 94, bro. You guys see the badges. Hall of Fame, Slithery, Precision, um, Spin Cycle, Two Step, all these amazing badges. You know what I'm saying? Some of these badges will go up. Like Pulse Riser is going to go up when we upgrade our vertical. You know what I'm saying? We'll get that junk on gold. This dunk rating also helps us to unlock, you know what I'm saying, the Westbrook dunk animations, the lit dunk animations we get with the guards. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to be able to punch that thing. A lot of people can't even get this rating right here, bro. Most people can't get a 94 dunk because they're focused on the three-pointer and shooting stuff like that. So you might be thinking this build is probably a terrible shooter or whatever. It's actually, it's a valid shooter. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm going to keep it valid. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad. It's actually really good. This build can actually shoot really consistent. So for the mid-range shot, I actually upgraded this to an 84. An 84 mid-range helps us, you know what I'm saying, get silver dead eye, silver green machine, stuff like that. For, I think, gold midi magician, you need 86. So if you wanted to change stuff around, I mean, go ahead. But I feel like, honestly, this is, this is good enough. I got a lot of good matches to shoot with. I really want to focus on the slashing and playmaking for real. And the fact that I can shoot decently is good enough. Um, for the three-point shot, you obviously want to upgrade this too, you know what I'm saying? To a 76. 76 helps you to get bronze agent threes. And without agent threes, I mean, you ain't going to make no fades. You ain't going to make no, feel me? You want to make sure that you're using um, at least some version of agent threes to be able to shoot consistent. So agent's really good. You guys see solid badges all around. John Moran's not this sharp shooting sniper, you know what I'm saying? So this is the way I went personally. And some people don't like the 70 three point rating but if you have listen for the people that don't know already a lot of the builds you're going to see me use and create in the future are going to do this if you have a higher mid range than your three pointer um that you will get all the jump shots that you can get with that so let's say the three point slash mid range rating so what i mean by that is if a jump shot costs an 85 three point slash mid range rating and you have an 85 mid range you're able to get that jump shot so you can get all the jump shots that you need with this build if you went for the three pointer so some people like to go 86 three but if i went to 86 mid range i can get the same exact jump shots and badges so we're all good free throw upgrade this to a 65 you know what i'm saying no no specific reason you know what i'm saying i don't play rec personally so i just went with a 65 to even it out and eventually we would put that on so all good we got amazing finishing valid shooting and let's get to the playmaking now so playmaking i went with the pass accuracy of a 75 um this actually funny thing is this gives us john moran's passing style so go with a 75 pass it's probably the lowest you should go as far as like a guard like a real guard bro you ain't trying to throw no steves you could go with a 60 you could go with a 69 pass bro but like let's be real bro right? that's probably chips it's probably the slowest way like i ain't i ain't compromising bro i think passes are just as important because if they're cluttering the paint i'm gonna need to throw a, a nice pass to my teammates so john Morant, an underrated playmaker has a 75 pass really good um ball handle we're gonna upgrade this to a 92 
92 ball handle gets us, you know what I'm saying? As you guys can see, that a gold unpluckable. We'll get speed booster, killer combos, handles for days, all that stuff. Don't even worry about it. We gotta get to the physicals and get some of these stuff anyway. Speed with ball, we're gonna upgrade this to an 83. This is probably the lowest you should ever go with a guard build that gets a 92 ball handle because we'll be able to get um, gold speed booster. You know what I'm saying? Gold speed booster is essential. We need to, bro, we trying to get back to our people. John Moran's a fast point guard. You know what I'm saying? We need that. Now for the defense. Most guards, you would probably expect like a, a build like this to not have any defense. Wrong. You know what I'm saying? Chat, if you guys, in my my guys can verify this bro i don't make low defensive guard builds. I, I just can't do it to myself personally like i can't give my guard build like no defense at all he can't be a cone out there so firstly we'll upgrade the interior defense to a 55 as well as just contain the big man so if we get a switch we can just put our hands up and sometimes not all the time obviously sometimes we can get the stops that we need bro i ain't trying to you know what i'm saying i ain't trying to have them just score every single time but we gotta get some stops on this build Perimeter defense, we're gonna upgrade this to, oh gosh, <laughs> a 75, a 75 perimeter gets you bronze clamps, um, challenger, ankle braces, you see all the badges, you know, this the, really the essentials, bro. You're not gonna be really be guarding point guard, like, you're probably not gonna be playing lock on this way, probably playing corner, um, even in the rec, you won't be playing, but, um, like, 94 feet, so, yeah, why not, why not at least stick some valid defense, we get challenger, we get an 85, so 85 steel, as you guys can see, allows us to get so, uh, silver glove, silver interceptor, right stick, you could go high but we also got to save points for the physicals feel me? but this is really good right here as you guys can see bro this is a solid defensive build good playmaker good shooter and the finishing you know it's John Morant so we got to be able to do our thing and then upgrade your block to a 27 you know what I'm saying those, those stats are going to upgrade with you anyway so you can't really do nothing about it for the speed let's go for the speed the speed we're going to make it to an 87 87 you feel me um just helps us to run fast obviously I don't got to explain that <laughs> you know what I'm saying but we also get goal speed booster and hyper drive so we need that you know what I'm saying uh acceleration Go with that 77. If you guys don't know already, acceleration is not what it was last year. So you only need a 77 to sell. No patches hasn't been made yet. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to keep it like this. And this is the way I'm making it. Take it from my advice, bro. I have a couple builds with 90 acceleration. I have a build with a 77. I don't feel much different. I ain't going to cap. I feel dang near the same. Oh, my fault. 76. 76 is just fine. You don't lose any stats. And it's all good. It's going to be able to weigh out. Vertical, upgrade this to an 82. And then for the last but not least, for the stamina, you put that to a 99 or 96, whatever you want. I'm going 99 because I feel like that three stamina is very important people sleep on. This is my official way of going with the build. Now, you guys could probably change some stuff up if you want to. Um, maybe you don't want the high mid range. You can go with a 76. And I think, yeah, you get an 82 three point. But as you guys see, the badges are obviously regressed. So if I was you, bro, I would just finesse the game the way it was supposed to be um, or the way that it's best and just put that mid range up to 84. Other than that, your build's good. You can lower your close shot to a 54, actually. Shoot, do we have enough points for free points? We do. We actually do. I fall. Hey, now this build's even more of a wreck build, man. So do what you want. You can actually put, dang, what the freak? That one close shot just changed everything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> There we go. We got ourselves a masterpiece, John Marine Bill. This is my official way of going about it. If you guys want to change anything, let me know what changes you would make in the comments. But for me personally, my play style, this is all I need. I got everything I need, and I'm going to be hooping. I'm going to be going crazy. Anybody trying to jump with me, bro? Watch out, bro. I'm killing. I don't think y'all boys are trying to jump with me, no more, dog. What's the shades of, man? Bro, no, y'all is crazy. I ain't going to lie. Deer and Fox will take it. I don't know how it's a Fred Van Vliet build, but whatever you say, Suke, we have built a mid range slasher. Actually, bro, how is it a Fred, how is it a Fred Van Vliet build, bro? What the heck? Thank you guys so much for watching this video to the entirety. Love and appreciate you guys, man. I've been really been finding myself, y'all. I know I've been posted in a great, bro, but I didn't want to come back to this channel if I I wasn't mentally ready to come back and also spiritually i'm trying to get better at my spiritual being because i want to really get to know myself and know who i am you know what i'm saying so if you guys are trying to figure out who you are and stuff like that i would definitely um look at this scripture right here because this really convicted me this really helped me to see like my value and who i am not to like really other people but like who god thinks of me you know what i'm saying that's this really made me think of my life you know what i'm saying y'all stay blessed stay hungry stay humble your boy no women cj out of here